Hey there, developer. Welcome back. This is our final part of our three-part series on how to use, create, and format JSON data. How to turn that JSON data into foundation objects. And now, in part number three, we will learn how we can use those JSON dictionary and put it into episodes. Each episode and put it onto our table view. Okay, so here is again our final project when it looks like this. We have a list or a table of my code hangout shell episodes over here, and then you will see that we can have all of the things and then a table view with the episodes. And these episodes are the data that we create in part number one. We put it there in the table view. Okay, so let's go back into our project. I see I have a. Um, foundation like that a typo over there okay so here is our final our project so far okay in the last video when we got our JSON dictionary using the network service parse JSON from data and we got back a JSON dictionary right we didn't do anything we just do uh, print out that dictionary to the console right now we want to do something different we want to do from the JSON dictionary over here which is this guy, we want to parse the data and then we got into an array of episodes. So how we can do that? Well, let's figure it out. So let's have a look at the data that we got from our file. Here we have a bunch of things, but notice all we want to do, all we want to have is our array of episodes over here. And this array of episodes, it has the key of episodes. So we can access that, right? From the dictionary, from the big giant dictionary, it has a key called episodes. And from that key, it has the value is an array of episodes. We don't care about this key value pair feed and all of those things, okay? So let's have that. Inside this, if let's block, let's have let's um, episode or con ESP dictionaries dictionary for some reason I cannot spell today <laughs> so we have ESP dictionaries it means that an array of episode dictionaries okay equals to JSON dictionary subscript episode like that and we'll cast it as an array of string to any object okay so notice that it has to be an array of a dictionary with the type of string to any object okay so now i want to loop this for esp dictionary in esp dictionaries okay so now we have each and every single dictionary from an episode so from this episode, which is just this guy, just one single episode like this, we want to turn that into an episode, an, an instance of the episode class, right? So let's do that. I will create another init method. Seems like it is uh, suitable for an init, right? So let's have an init. And our parameter is ESP dictionary, okay? And the dictionary here is with the type of an array, a dictionary of string to any object like that. Okay, so we have the init over here. So now let's look at our dictionary. Our dictionary has the author with the key is author and the name is a string, right? Which is the property that we have for our episode. The description, we also have a key is um, description over here and then some description, some string. So let's have that, we can access that just like a dictionary. So we have the ESP dictionary. I'm sorry, we should have self.title equals ESP dictionary subscript title. We cast it as a string optional because sometimes we don't really have the title. It's the data from the internet, remember? Next, we have description equals ESP dictionary subscript description like that again as a string optional next we have the thumbnail URL and here I will use NS URL with the string of ESP dictionary thumbnail 
URL like this because we want to make sure that we do want to have the thumbnail URL. So I will cast it down, okay, uh, force cast it at a string, okay. The last one, uh, the next one is self dot created ads. Now, the only difference between these two things is that self, right? And I just want to do it randomly like that like that so you know that you can do it or you cannot do it okay with the self pointer over there so created at is pop date which is publication date okay the the reason why we have two different keys over there is in my class in my local file i call that created at and from my server from my blog from my website server it returns me publication date okay for date okay and then we cast it as an optional string okay and then next is self dot author is esp dictionary subscript author and we cast it as a string on cell and the last one is self dot url equals ns url which is the url the url of the episode and we also have a string and the string is esp dictionary subscript link now again, it's just the difference between our episode, uh, between the data, okay? Now this is a key called link, and it returns a string uh, of the URL. So I'll cast it as a string. Now we have a complete episode for our data, okay? Oops, the author should be string optional. Cool. So now let's call this below here for episode dictionary in episode dictionaries. Then we have let's new episode equals um, episode like this. And we put into a episode dictionary. And the thing here is ESP dictionary. Then now we have a new episode. Then we just have to append this episode into the episodes array. So let's have that self, I'm sorry, not self, but just episodes dot append new episode. Okay. And that's it. Now, after we got this, if we do have the JSON dictionary from this, then we will go over and append new episodes into the episode dictionary uh, array. And then we just return that. So from our episodes table view controller, not the uh, app delegate, but the table view controller. We call this method episode equals episode dot download all episodes, and then we we reload the table view, right? And now let's view and run the project, and hopefully we do got our episode onto the uh, onto the table view. Okay, let's look at this. All right, so we got lucky this time because we have a bunch of table view cells with the data populated from our JSON file. But one thing you have to be careful is the process over here. This process, especially this thing, because it is using the key, which is a string. And there is a lot of time that you mistyped, you have a typo on the key, then your app will basically crash. But now this time we use string optional, so it will not crash because it will be nil. But now a lot of time, like let's say this, um, this string has now cast it, force cast it as a string. If you mistype it as maybe URL instead of link, then that thing will be nil and you down cast it, force cast like that, you got your app crash, okay? Just some of the maybe error prones that you should be noticed when you work on your real app with the REST API, with your URL, with your server, all of those things, okay? So I hope that you enjoyed these three part video series on how to use JSON in your app. Hope that you enjoyed this as always, Feel free to post your questions or comments to let me know what you think of this series way down below and I will reply to your questions personally. So I hope that you enjoyed this and as always, go out there every single day of your life, learn new things, craft your ideas and contribute to the world.